Hello! In this video tutorial on C++, I want to introduce you to the arrays. Ok, first let's start with an example. You want to store a lot of uh, things from with the same data types. So, for example, we want to store a lot of char. So, you can do by char C1, C2, C3, uh, C3, oh, like that. Ok, but if there is a lot of character you want to store, it could take a while and your program code will be much longer and bigger. Ok, that's why there is an array. Array is mean that uh, you have you have to define just one array and you can store it a lot of uh, uh, data with the same data type because I kind of suck an explanation I try to show you for example we have a character variable and put a square bracket after the variable like that uh, it means th that it is an array to make an array, uh, you should uh, make. Uh, you should give the size of it. For example, we want to hold I don't know five character. Uh, watch with the index numbering because the the index starts from zero and goes uh, to n minus 1. n is the number of elements in the array, so in this case say 5. So the indexing will go 0 through 4, not 5. Uh, it will give some error, I think segmentation error. Your operating system will give it. But actually your program may actually uh, compile or it give an error. Mm. So now we c uh, we have that we could uh, mm, refer to elements like C zero is the actually the first element of the array, but it starts from zero. So for example, make it equal to a capital H like that. Then the C one make it equal to uh, not capital E and C2 make it equal to L and C4 be actually free make it equal to L and C4 make it O don't forget this is the last element of the array. Ok, in the for loops I said that you can easily use for loops to write out uh, elements of the array. Let's do that. So, for int i equals 0, i less than 5, so it will go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, not 5, because 5 is not less than 5. And increase the i, and write out the c i so this is how you can refer to elements with the name and inside square brackets you put the number which element do you want okay in this case we want c i uh, it means that first it will be c0 then c1 eh, i think you understand it and make a new line right here to make it nicer like that and save it and uh, you may notice that there is no code blocks here because there is just one thing I want to write out so it is just one line one statement not more and uh, I pu uh, I used the tabulator to make it nicer so it easily can be seen which is inside the for loop and which is outside the for loop this count and end else so it just writes a new line it is outside of the for loop 
so it will um, not make a new line every time the for loop runs okay and I don't put semicolon right here because after loops you don't have to put semicolon although I should mention that already and maybe I did I don't know but don't okay and uh, compile the program we use that and uh, make an output uh, uh, I don't know seventh maybe okay there is no error great then we can run the seventh uh, program and we'll see it write out hello actually it don't write out hello it write out h e l l o but because i don't put any white space character there so space tabulator or new line it gives the own string hello so it is seen that it is a string okay and there is a lot of things about arrays to tell and i don't think that everything goes to this tutorial you could uh, use another data type of course even your own data type when we create it to create an array an array inside your memory looks like uh, it is continuously reserved memory so the first element is the C it's actually a pointer to the first element and then we the second element so the C1 for example in this case will be the first element pointer plus size of uh, the data type what you are using actually don't worry if you don't understand it because we are going to make the the pointers so actually i'm going to make pointers a tutorial the in next tutorial i will actually make for pointers and then i try to explain again that things so you can write anything like integer uh, array and the number of element what you want there is an interesting thing if you don't put nothing in the square bracket you could use this method to mm, put elements inside your array so for example we put these characters actually numbers not characters inside the array and as you can see there is uh, so we don't give how many elements do we want but the compiler will assume that we want elements so, so we want as many elements as in this actually after this you have to put a semicolon this is an exception of exception when you have to put a semicolon after the closing bracket the other exception for example is the after structs or classes okay and write out with a while loop to make a little practice so while mm, make a while array i i know i don't declare the i and define i will int i equals zero while not equals 99 so the last element we want to write out actually there is a problem with this is that it will not write out the last element so uh, make a do while loop actually so do and uh, while and every time it goes here we want to increase the i and write out the array i element so at first it will be zero so we will write the 11 then it will be one because we increase it right here the array i is not 99 so uh, 
uh, actually I think we will not get the last element but run it and we will get it ok compile the program actually I forget the semicolon right there compile the program and uh, run it and as you can see there is the, the last element it, it doesn't get the last element so we could get the last element by while true so that was my first idea to use an endless loop although it's not endless because we write a uh, break out when the array is the, the array i is 99 so write out the array i a space after it and the semicolon and uh, then if array i equal don't forget there is two equal sign it's made is it equal not to make it equal 99 then uh, break and uh, just increase the i now in this case we will get uh, actually made a new line here uh, and line we will get all elements from that array even if we don't know how many elements in it we know the last element so compile it and run it As you can see it write out all of the element of the of that array even if we don't know how many element is in there we know the last element this uh, this is the almost the same as the string literal works although I don't speak about that but this will be a tutorial soon so there is a null by character at the end of the string literal and that's how the, the compiler actually the program knows that uh, there should be that is the last character of the array okay and that's it for now and thanks for watching have a great day